Hi friends, nice to meet you. I'm Chris Graham. Uh, I'm behind uh, creatine and cameras and if you've been following uh, then you might know that I'm on a bit of a health journey. So this past summer I weighed as high as 330 pounds which was a big stretch from the 270 280 that I've usually that I've been used to since probably 15 years old. I had lost and gained weight uh, over the last you know decade and a half but I always ended up coming back to 270 280 um, during football when in high school and university uh, that was okay so it wasn't really impacting my life until early adulthood last September I felt like I had to make a change um, and a, a, a lasting change and I felt like I had the tools necessary now uh, to do it and so I wanted to share a bit about that if I could backtrack uh, you know two or two and a half years 2019 to 2020 um, I had been researching a book for a book um, for a number of years and 2020 kind of gave me an opportunity to to sit down and write it and it was the single most influential thing in my life to research and to write and publish uh, you know my, my own book I was researching a concept called uh, prediction error and very very simply it is an error in predicting the next series of events of our life now some people thrive in this environment and rise to the top but for others it can actually contribute to a lot of mental health challenges two examples to help you understand what I'm talking about um, people generally take the same route to work um, but one day you get construction and you have to detour you have there was an error in your prediction of your route and you've adapted and and gotten around it okay um, on the other end if you think about students going through test taking um, there are any possibility of outcomes from 0% to 100% so that's 101 possible outcomes uh, from your uh, ability to produce an answer on a test okay that can be extremely uh, anxiety provoking for a lot of people and it transfers to their to their job their careers um, and just you know task completion this is not a plug for the book uh, actually I don't want you to buy it it is available on Amazon but if you're okay with reading an e-version uh, reach out to me if you're interested in this concept so why do I tell you this um, I documented everything I did from 330 pounds to now which is I'm, I'm now at 254 so that's 76 pounds lost and uh, and completely kind of changed my life and I've gone through the documentation process to get some footage which I will eventually turn into a film uh, hopefully by the end of the year and now that I'm five months into this process uh, I feel like now is a great time to kind of introduce what I'm doing and to connect with you. I want to know about your setbacks, your successes. What in your life has led you to the point that you're at now? And if it's positive, what are some contributing factors? And if it's negative, what are some contributing factors? So if you or someone you know uh, might be interested in learning a little bit more about thought processes, and, and sharing a bit of your story with me and an audience, um, I really want to hear from you. I truly, sincerely want to hear your story because everybody's got a story. You're the best person to tell it. And, and I think that I can uh, help you to, to bring that to the surface. I don't know what the end goal of this is. <laughs> it might go on Netflix. It's probably just going to go on YouTube. Um, the reach could be small, it could be great, but I think that whoever whoever will um, open their mind a little bit to this, I think that we can make a big impact in their lives. So for the next few months, I'm going to try to meet as many people as possible and shoot as much content as possible. And uh, it might not come out right away, but I really want to share people's story and um, 
and try to encourage others to continue or to start their own journey. Okay, thank you guys for listening, um, for opening up your mind a bit to this concept. Uh, again, reach out to me if, if you think that you might be right for this project or that you might want to share your story. Um, I don't really know how else to end this. <laughs>